welcome to my workshop or Thunder Down Under. <laughs> okay, so today we're going to start off by leveling the machine. Uh, then when we've got that level, we'll put Addy Works into the main computer over there and um, we'll start doing some test cuts. And I'll show you how to get the best cut in a particular material. Uh, a lot of laser work is experimentation. So, uh, you know, there's no... I don't think there's any real quick fix uh, because if the moisture content in the material changes over a period of time, like whether it's winter or summer, you know, the, the, the cut speed and power could change. So sometimes you have to do a little test cut just to make sure that your, your speeds and your power setting is still good for that particular material. Uh, that will say, save you quite a bit of uh, time at the end of the process of finishing or what have you. So let's level it up. So I've just taken the head out of the way because I, I just want to check to see the level of the back of the machine, then we'll check the front of the machine, and then we'll check across the machine. It's simply done with the use of a little level. So you just put it on top of the gantry there and just sight the bubble and I can see that that corner needs to come up. Okay, so we'll bring this right forward now and we'll check it here. It's probably far enough forward. Yeah, that side needs to come up as well. Now to check forward back, fairly easy. Just stick it on the rail here like this. Um, well, it's not too bad actually. That back corner needs to come up a little. So to make those changes, I've got to get down on my hands and knees and just wind the individual feet down just to bring the machine up to its uh, correct level. I'll come, I'll bring you back in when I've actually done that. Okay. That's pretty damn good. Bubble in the middle, that's okay. I'm not really picking that up, but uh, we're pretty well. Perfect. And very stable machine now, it's locked in place. Okay, I have the little flash drive which was supplied by Thunder Laser. And uh, I know that <coughs> the program's on this, so let's drop it at my. Uh, here it is, uh, Nova series, and of course here you've got the manuals for the laser. A lot of the information that I just spoke about in the last couple of videos is in there. Um, laser software, this one here, and double click on this, and it should set up and uh, put it into the computer. Yes, here we go. Yes, we do want it to make changes. Install. 
Might take a few minutes. Yes, install the driver. Okay, that's installed. Exit out of that. And it's always a good practice to so we'll come out of that. I'm going to restart the computer now. Okay, so this is Adi Works, and it is quite a powerful program. And it comes free with your new thunder laser. So I'm just going to put a flash drive in there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just check the program to see that it is set up for my particular laser and the XY home coordinates is set here, which is correct. Uh, some lasers have it set in this top corner here, but this is correct for this one. And it's 900 millimeters long and 600 millimeters in the Y, which is correct. Everything looks set up for this laser, so that's good. The colors down here just represent individual layers. Now we'll come, we'll do more about that in the future, but. To start off with, we're just going to pick one of the drawing tools, which is a square, and we're going to come anywhere on the screen here, and we're going to draw a simple square, like that. Now that green square there up in the top corner, that's indicating where the zero zero point is of this part so that's where you would set the nozzle uh, datum point when you start uh, on the material okay what have we got here so we're going to change tools and we're going to highlight this and when you highlight, so what I did there, went up in this top corner, just picked the normal highlight tool, right clicked over this little square, and now it's brought some what's known as handles around it, so you can manipulate it if you want. But up in this top corner, it gives you the actual size or dimension of this square. So we're going to give it an absolute dimension. So 50.8 millimeters and 50.8 millimeters and press enter. And now why I chose that figure is because that is exactly a two inch square. So it's 25.4 millimeters to an inch so double that 50.8 now the number next to it here just represents the 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 x and y coordinate in relation to the table then the whole size of the table that's the coordinates of that little square box there that little datum green box there so that's that number oh, those two numbers there from this point to there and it's telling you it's 424.9 which is 
that of the center of it 424.9 which would be there that's the actual datum there that uh, little x there the center of the material and 225.8 and you'll see there's 225.8 there so it's the center of that uh, box not the actual datum there okay so and you'll also see that a layer has come up which is the first layer color down here um so it's so what we're going to do is double click that and this fetches up the parameter dialog or wizard that you can uh, change so it's a black layer is output yes if you put no there it won't actually put anything out to the laser so you know the laser won't fire so it has to be yes speed 100 mm, we're going to cut through three millimeter or one eighth inch mdf so we're going to start off with uh no i think probably we're going to start off with about i will say 12 12 millimeters per second okay um, it's a cut yeah okay so if you remember when I did the unboxing or I, I have mentioned in the past that this uh, system on the laser the blow air blower system as has a high and a low setting well we're doing a cut so it needs to be high Okay, minimum and maximum powers. Now, we can unclick that because that for it, that's for a second head. Okay, so we've only got one head on here. So we want um, 30, 30. Do you know, I'm, I'm probably going to go with that. And it's you know it's I normally start at 25. Let's let's start at 25 percent power output. Okay. So that that that's fine. Um, this we're not going to fill in at all. Three power 50 percent. Now what this is telling us it what this is telling us is now through power is the, the power that the laser is going to fire up just to punch a hole through the material uh, just for you know a second or less so I'm going to go with that and this power 2 is I think for the corners and we're doing a square and sometimes the corners don't get cut uh, because you just require a little bit more power so I'm going to go with that just to see what happens I've never actually used this program for a thunder laser before so it's going to be interesting to see um, apply the same don't actually know what that means so I'm going to say okay and hopefully it's done that so now we're going to output that file so now we'll save that file into uh, save to you file um, now we'll name it something we want to name it so it's going to be as this is the first very first uh, file or program we're going to say test one and save okay so I guess that means it's been saved successfully I have no idea <laughs> okay let's check 
Guess one, one kilobyte, so, well it's something on there, so I'd say it was saved okay.